Here we have a real challenge of, of a restoration. This was sent to me uh, by a frequent client of mine, the New York area. This is a Link New York Tone Master. And the problem is that it's been played, played, played by somebody. Probably the bite plate fell off and they continued to use it. And it's got a tooth gouge into the metal, into the metal outside of where the bite plate would be um, and even to the point where the teeth have worn the metal through the mouthpiece until there's a bump on the inside. I think it's also been bent open and then bent back um, and over bent back because the facing is actually curved in the wrong direction in this area there's a low spot right here. What that looks like, I'll show you. Is again the mouthpiece orientation is this direction and this is the exaggerated uh, facing curve. So, so the dark blue line is the facing curve so it has a pretty sharp bend here and actually bends in the wrong direction so what I have to do is uh, to straighten this mouthpiece is I actually have to physically bend it out um, to rough it back into shape. The tip opening is about uh, 95 now. I have to get it back maybe towards 105 to get it closer. It's horrendously crooked and twisted also My uh, first uh, idea was going to be to uh, just put a new bite plate on it and try to extend the bite plate out and, and angle it up so that it covers all this. But now what I'm thinking of doing is, um, or what I, what I am going to do, is use silver solder to uh, fill this in first and then I can file it to shape to try to get it back to, you know, the original shape. Silver solder is not the same as plumbing solder. Uh, it's a high temperature solder uh, used mostly by jewelers for repairs. Uh, in, instead of like uh, plumbing solder melting around four or five hundred degrees, this melts over a thousand degrees. So it's a much harder solder. Um, so that'll be something new for me to try. So first I'm going to start bending this some, some soft jaw pliers uh, let me show you let me show you how crooked this is if I take like a 78 feeler and throw it in there that's where it sits if I drop down to like a 49 it's more even and then if I go way down something long, it actually tilts the other way. So it's low here and low here. So the facing's twisted as well as bent in the wrong direction. And uh, <laughs> the tip, too. <laughs> I don't know if it's, this is from dropped or plier work, but this, this is down. You know, it's just, it's like a potato chip. So these are soft jaw pliers. Not that I have to worry about scratching something that I'm going to be working on so extensively. getting much progress there. I'm going to resort to the anvil. Oh, 
quite an improvement there, but it's probably still, well, it's better. It's at least it's kind of flat now. Like I said, the inside of the tip rail measured 93 before. We're at 107 now. So I would call that kind of bent back to shape. Maybe I'll take a full set of readings just to kind of see where we're at. Okay, after um, banging it a little bit on the anvil, um, I managed to get the curve at least so that it's not concave. So it's flat in the area where it was concave. That's something I can work with. It's still twisted, um, but now it's time to fill in with some silver solder and then come back.
hand filing. I'm going to get the rest of the way. You can see where the metal was filled in, this area out to here, to the bite plate, it's got a slightly uh, brighter color to it. Um, it wasn't pitted when I started, but when I filed down the metal, uh, a couple voids opened up. I think I could uh, melt it in a little better next time and probably not have those voids. Um, but I've got the facing pretty good now. There's there's some pits from the original casting in here. They're original. I've got a nasty nick here that uh, I've gotten most of it out, but it's too small to fill with epoxy and too large to face all the way out, I think. I may take a few more passes on it. But not bad, considering it was basically... A lost cause before. I have a little bit more finishing work to do on it too.